today our lesson for today is adding fractions so let's start with adding similar fractions using the modeling approach say for instance i have here one half okay added by another one half as you can see okay this is one out of two parts so the shaded part is green and this also is the shaded part is also the green parts so if I will construct a rectangle, okay, which is divided into two parts, so this represents the whole part, this half part will be transferred here. So I have now one half. However, I'll combine another one half. So this shaded part will be transferred here. So I have now two out of two or equal to 1. So that is how we add similar fractions using modeling approach. So, okay, so let's have another example. So this time I have three ports plus another three ports. So here I have two parts, okay. As you can see here, I have almost a whole part and almost a whole part. So I'll put two whole parts here. So this is, these are the two parts. Then, if you observe, if you can observe, the whole part is divided into four parts. So, I have here three shaded parts out of four. I'll transfer all of them here. Okay. As well as another three parts here to be transferred also here. In case this is filled up, I'll transfer the leftover here. So, let's observe. So, we have here actually 1, 2, 3, 4, okay, and 5, 6. But take note, this consider as one whole. So, I have here 6 over 4. But take note that this is actually can be, okay, renamed as 1. Why? Because 4 over 4 is equal to 1. So, I have here 1 and 2 parts. Okay, but take note, 2 and 4 is reducible by 2. So if I'll divide the numerator by 2, as well as the denominator by 2, I will come up with 1, okay, and 2 over 4 divided by 2 over 2. So I'll come up with 1 and 1 half. Let's have another example for adding the similar fractions. So if I have one half plus one third, I'll cut this okay whole part into two parts vertically. While on okay one third, I'll cut the whole parts into three parts horizontally. Notice that these two rectangles have the same size. Okay. However, if I will cut this into three parts horizontally here, so meaning to say I have one, two, and three parts. So I can transfer that one here. So I have here, okay, one, two, and three. Also, if I have one third, I'll cut it vertically into two parts. I have now one, two shaded parts. So... I have this one here. So this is uh, this shaded parts can be renamed as two over six. Now I'll combine three over six plus two over six. Okay, so I have here the whole parts will be divided into six parts. I have here one, two, and three. So I'll transfer them here. Okay, I shade this part, shade this, shade, okay. And I have another two parts here. Okay, I shade two parts here, one and two. So now, if you will notice, I shaded actually five out of six parts. So take note, if I have three six plus two six, okay, I simply add the numerators three and two. So it will result to and copy the same denominators okay to summarize our okay uh, steps in adding dissimilar fractions we have to 
So the first one, find the LCD or least common denominator. Next one is actually find the equivalent fractions. And finally, we add and simplify. So let's have, okay, the fractions 1 half plus 1 third. Take note that, okay, we have denominators 2 as well as 3. So, I get the LCD of 2 and 3, okay, 2 and 3. Now, using the composition method, okay, think of a number that can divide 2 and 3. Okay, so the 1 is the only number that can divide 2 and 3. So, 2 divided by 1 is 2, 3 divided by 1 is 3. So, notice that nothing changed here in 2 and 3, right? So, we have 2 times 3, okay, will give us a product of 6. So, this is now our LCD of 1 half and 1 third. Now, we will get now the equivalent fraction. So, how do we get that? So, first, we have here our LCD is 6. So, we have 6 divided by, okay, the denominator 2 times the numerator 1. So, this is actually 6 divided by 2 times 1 will give us 3. So, this is our numerator and our denominator is 6. Then, we will repeat the process. This time, we have 6, okay, and our denominator now is 3, so 3 times the given numerator of 1. So, we have so, our denominator now is actually 2. So, take note, 3, 6 plus 2, 6. So, we will add the numerators 3 and 2. So, we will have now 5 over 6. So, let's have an. So, let's review the steps in adding the similar fractions. So, let's have here find the LCD or least common denominator. Next one is find the equivalent fractions and add and simplify. So say for instance, I have three fractions, two-thirds, one-fourth, and five over six. So I get the LCD of three, four, and six. To get that, I simply okay, write the numbers three, four, and six. So here, three, four, and six. Now, I will think or think of a number that can divide 3, 4, and 6 respectively. However, there's no number that can divide all of them. So I will resolve to a number that can divide at least two of, two of them. Okay, there's a number that can divide 3 and 4 except for 1. However, there's a number that can divide 4 and 6, which is actually 2. So 4 divided by 2 is 2. And 6 divided by 2 is 3. Since 3 cannot be divided by 3 uh, evenly, I'll simply copy as it is. The next. Okay, think of a number that can divide 3 and 2, except for 1. None, right? However, there's a number that can divide 3 and 3, which is actually 3. So I'll simply write here 3. So, 3 divided by 3 is 1, and 3 divided by 3 is 1 also. 2 cannot be divided by 3 evenly, so I simply copy. So, now, there's no number class that can divide 1, 2, and 1, except for 1. So, I'll simply get these numbers 2, 3, and uh, 2, 3, 1, 2, and 1 as the factors. So, I'll multiply them. So, here, 2 times 3 is 6, times 1 is actually 6, times 2 is 12, times 1 is equal to 12. So, this is now my least common denominator. The next step is find the equivalent fractions of 2 thirds, 1 fourth, and 5 over 6. So, since 
the denominator or the least common denominator is 12. So I'll get now here, okay, 12 divided by 3 times 2. So I have now here 8 over 12. Copy the same denominator. Next one. So I have here 12, okay, divided by 4 is 3 times 1 will give us 3. And copy the same denominator again. And also, I have here 6 here. So 12, okay, here 12 divided by 6 is 2 times 5 is equal to 10. So here are the equivalent fractions now. So take note, I have the same denominators. I simply add 8, 3, and 10. So it will result to 8 plus 3 plus 10 over 12 will give us 21 over 12. So this is improper fraction. So I'll ask myself, I'll divide 21 by 12 now. So, how many 12 can you get in 21? So, there is only 1. Then multiply. 1 times 12 will give us 12. Okay. So, if you will subtract 21 and 9, will, uh, 12 will give us 9. Okay. So, this is our numerator. And this is our denominator. So, this is our whole number. So, therefore, I can have here 1 and 9 over 12. Take note that I can still reduce 9 over 12. Okay, there's a number that can divide 9 and 12, which is actually 3. So therefore, I simply copy the same whole number, 1. So 9 divided by 3 is 3, and 12 divided by 3 is equal to 4. So therefore, I have 1 and 3 fourths. So what if we have mixed numbers? So again, so let's review the steps. We have find the LCD, find the equivalent fractions, and add and simplify. So given the fractions 1 and 2 thirds, plus 2 and 1 fourths, plus 4 and 5 over 6. So here, we will get the LCD of, LCD of, okay, the fractions. We will list down 3, 4, and 6. So we have again 3, 4, and 6. So again, using the decomposition method, so 3 is the number that can divide 3 and 6. So 3 divided by 3 is actually 1. Since 4 cannot be divided by 3, so just simply copy. Then 6 divided by 3 is 2. Okay, then 2 is the number that can divide 4 and 2. So 4 divided by 2 is 2, and 2 divided by 2 is 1. Since you cannot divide exactly 1 by 2, just simply copy as it is. So we multiply all these numbers okay, here. So we have 3 times 2. Is 6 times 1 is 6 times 2 is 12 times 1 is equal to 12. So this is now your LCD of the fractions 1 and 2 thirds, 2 and 1 fourth, and 4 and 5 over 6. We simply add all the numbers, all the whole numbers 1, 2, and 4 respectively. So we have here 7. And then we have here the equivalent fractions of two-thirds, meaning to say 12 divided by 3 is actually 4 times 2 is 8. Then we will get the equivalent fractions of one-fourth, so that is 12 divided by 4 okay, is 3 times 1 is equal to 3. And also, the equivalent fraction of 5 over 6 is like 6 divided by, uh, I mean 12 divided by 6 times 5 is equal to 10. So we have now 7 plus, okay, the fraction 8 plus 3 plus 10 all over 12. So we have now 7 and 21 over 12. 
take note that I have a whole number. And this is actually improper fractions. So I will rename this improper fractions again. So 21 divided by, okay, let's divide this by 12. So again, how many 12s can you, or 12 can you get in 21? So I have only 1. So 1 times 12 is 12. Then simply subtract, we have 9 as the remainder. Okay. So I have here the whole number 7, and I have 7, okay, and the denominator, oh, I mean the remainder, okay, is 9, and the numerator, uh, divisor, or will become our denominator. So I have 7 and 9, 7 plus 1 and 9 over 12. So I have here 8. However, 9 and 12 can be divided by 3. So 9 divided by 3 will give us 3. And 12 divided by 3 is equal to 4. So finally, I have 8 and 3 quarters.